Right. So talk about it. Where'd you grow up? Let's let, let's get into the story a little okay. bit. Okay. So I grew up in New Jersey. I went uh, in Bergen County right here. Uh, from there, went to school, thought I wanted to be, you know, all kinds of different things. Ended up, um, you know, graduating college with a finance degree. Look for jobs. We're right here. New York City is the finance capital. Did like 30 interviews. Finally got a job at UBS. My last interview I did. Um, I was supposed to start on Monday. That Friday, I get a phone call saying they mixed up the Akashas and I wasn't the one that got the job. <laughs> right. So that's when I had it. So at that point, what I did is I just stepped back. It's like maybe about a six month period where I just stayed home, reflected, tried to figure out what I want to do. I always knew I wanted to get into business, but I didn't know where to start, right? What kind of business, where to start, um, you know, how to get my feet wet. So, you know, what, what happened was I was doing all this researching, bouncing left, bouncing right, trying to figure out this and that. And I stumbled upon um, my neighbor who was an auto transport broker. Okay. So he's like, you know, he's like, you know how to use a computer. He's like, you're always, you know, around here. He's like, why don't you just take me to my job? tomorrow and just see what we do i think you'll be able to you know catch on quick okay so you know at this point mind you i'm, I'm pretty much at depression i gained 50 pounds i couldn't get a job um i think i was about 20 23 24 years old and you have a finance degree i have a finance degree right um and you know i'm sitting there trying to figure out what to do this this guy comes into my life i go with him for the first week i was iffy about it because, you know, a lot of brokering is commission based. You always hear all this negative stuff about commission based, this and that. So he takes me to his job and I realized I was like, this isn't really, you know, just random selling knives or, or you know, this and that. This is actually targeting sales. Right. You got people coming to you asking you to move their car. Mm. And all you got to do is explain the process to them, find them a carrier and, and get your fee in between. Right. So sales was something I was always good at. So I started, you know, I, I took the job. They gave me a job. I took the job within the first summer, which is our season. For six months, I became top three sales guys. Okay. Yeah. So from there, I realized, I was like, I'm on to something. I need to make money. I'm young. It's time to get engaged soon. Uh, How start old my you life. Now? I was about 25. Okay. okay. So at that point, you know, I stuck it out with him, made good money, started saving. I, I knew I still wanted to start a business but I needed some kind of money to start. So another company, you know, I came across another company. He gave me a side on bonus the whole night, pulled me on his ship and, and I went to go work for him. He's also out of New Jersey. And at both places, what I did is I figured out how these businesses are ran, right? What these owners do day to day, what I would do differently, what I think they're lacking, right? Um, and things like that. So um, when I was ready, so after my second job, when I was ready, I already kind of had in my in my head a blueprint of how I want to start this, right? Okay. And because I'm, you know, I had the relationships with the guys I was working at, I was the youngest one. They're like, listen, that anytime you start, if you start an auto transport brokerage, count us in. We're in. We're right. gonna come work for you. So bam, I'm at I'm at a crossroads. I got a good job. I'm making good money. I got stability. Um, I saved up. I think like I think at the time it was like twenty five thousand dollars. About to go buy a ring for my wife to propose to her because we was together for like, I think, eight years at that time or something. So she was waiting and that was overdue. Um, but I had to go to India for a wedding for my cousin's wedding. Right. So I go to the wedding. It was in February. I'll never forget this. I told my I told the guy I was working for, look, I'm not going to book any jobs because when I go, my customers, I mean, you need to attend to them. And if you don't, they're going to we're going to lose them or they're going to become refunds. He's like, don't worry about it. Just, you know, do what you got to do. Book them. He's like, this is when we make the most money right. when you go on vacation because you don't got to do nothing. <laughs> He's like, we'll, we'll pick up the slack. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, cool, let's do it. So what about, you know, what I do? I book my jobs. I go to India, come back and I get a phone call from him that we had almost $5,000 in refunds. Right. In a two week period. Mm. So I was like, we had this talk. You know, I told you this was going to happen. And he kind of flipped it around on me to lower my percentage. Okay. So at this point, I'm just like, man, I was like, you told me to book these orders. I did what you said. I went on the first vacation in years, right? Come back. And now you're trying to cut my percentage pay because I did what you told me to do. So I go home that night. I was out of it. I'm just like, you know, instead of growing, now I'm going backwards again, right? Right. right. Second job. 
thinking, you know, things are going the way they need to go. So bam, I come, uh, go home that night, talk to my wife. I'm like, look, I got this 20, 25 grand. I'm about to buy this ring for you. Or I could take this money and start my business, right? right? right. She she didn't even flinch. She, she's like, she's been with me for what, eight years at this time. So she knew business is where I belong. Right. So she's like, do it. She's like, don't worry about the ring. She's like, just make a deal with me. If you fail, you could get me a cereal box ring and we get engaged no matter what. Mm. If you make it, I want I want double the carrots, <laughs> right? I want double the size. I said, I like say that. no more. I like that. So we did it. We opened up in March 2016. That was my first company, Yellow Brick Transport, which was the auto transport brokerage. And from March of 2016 to the end of that year, we broke a million dollars in sales with three guys. Wow. Me and two other guys. Yeah. Wow. So that's when I realized that there's money in trucking. Okay. At this point, there's no trucking hustle or Instagram. <laughs> yeah. no, none of that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're kind of just just figuring things out on your own, right? And right. there's not a lot of guys that look like you and I, especially in auto hauling, right? right. These are all grandfathered companies okay. that are handed down uh, from the 50s and the 40s and whatever. So, you know, I, I wiggled my way in. And, you know, from there, it was history. I started as a broker and then from there, got into the carrier side, saw that, you know, there's a need for dispatchers for the owner operators. And then after that, I, I noticed I was, you know, mentoring a lot of these guys. The carriers wanted to be brokers. The brokers wanted to be carriers. So I'm just doing this for free, helping them out because, you know, we're doing work together. Um, you know, I realized quickly that there's a need for this. Right. So just recently... You know, I came out with my course and it just, it blew up. It blew up. We got numerous guys in business now as brokers. Um, I get wake up to text every day, which is, <laughs> you know, great that, you know, you changed our life or we made this much this week and, 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 and so forth. And to me, I feel like that's the most rewarding, right? Because throughout the whole journey, I thought when I would get the money, when I would get the bag, like they say, all my problems would be solved and I'd be happy. Right. But when I got to that point, I realized I'm more miserable than ever, mm. right? So that was that was a big lesson I learned that it's not all about money. It's about, you know, what what are you going to do after you get that money? Right. What are you going to do to help other people, you know? Right. Because that satisfaction that you get when, when your students or your mentees hit you up and tell you that, you know, this happened or that happened, that was good, you no money could compare to that, you gotcha. know? Got gotcha. you. All right, so let, let, let's rewind a little bit. Yeah. I want I want to go back to um first just to put it in context for people who don't understand. How does a auto transport brokerage work? Okay. So it's different. So so trucking is trucking. A lot of people that's listening to this, they know freight um and they think it's the same, but it's it's a whole other world, right? We have our own load boards, we have our own terms. Um you know, we have our own system. So auto transport brokerage is the way they work is they what we do is we get customers like you and I that need to ship their cars. It starts with us and it goes all the way up to manufacturers like Tesla, Ford, BMW. Right. So what we do is we get these contracts or these orders from these customers and we go out and we dispatch them out to carriers, just like how freight works. The biggest difference is in auto transport brokering. You have a system where the customers come to you. So you could literally do this in like I started my business in my bedroom. You could literally do this from your home by working off of leads, right? Mm. So when you want to ship your car, what are you going to do? You're going to go on Google and say, I want to ship my car. You're going to get a couple of websites that pop up. You're going to put your zip codes in there. Those guys don't ship cars. Those are lead providers. They give us that information. Now we go out, we contact you and we, you know, we tell you we could ship your car on this day for this much. Um, you know, go through all the terms and this is our company, look our reviews up and so forth. And then you book the order with us.